Here we have for sale our 2016 on a 16 plate Ford Transit Custom. This is the 270, which means it's got a 2.7 ton gross vehicle weight. It's the 2.2 TDCI model with 125 brake horsepower. It is the L1H1, which means it's short wheelbase and low roof. And it is the limited panel van. And what we're gonna do in this video is have a little walk around. I'll show you the spec that you get on a custom limited of this age. But we'll also talk you through a little bit about the condition and service history of this particular example as it is currently available for sale at the time of recording. So starting at the rear of the van, you can see we've got rear barn doors. What I mean by that are two doors which open in that sort of uh, direction. On a limited, you get a number of elements which are color coded and that includes things like the door handles, this trim here above the uh, rear number plate, but also the bumpers and mirrors. So you can see here the rear bumper is color coded in frozen white and you also get front and rear parking sensors. You can see the parking sensors are there integrated neatly into the rear bumper. There is this uh, little thing here on the rear bumper. I'm not entirely sure what that is but I thought I'd mention that and say in terms of condition but otherwise here on the back doors it's all looking very very nice indeed if I was being very critical there's possibly a tiny little mark there which could be touched up but as I say that is being very critical indeed. If I open up the rear doors we can have a look at the condition in the back here. These yellow arms if you pull on these yellow arms they clip into position there up against the door and then that allows you then to open up the rear doors to their 180 degree position like so. You can do exactly the same with both doors or alternatively they will just lock into place there like that at 90 degrees but this gives you maximum accessibility if you are loading in here with a forklift possibly uh, and you can see here that this is the factory lining which would come with the vehicle so it offers some protection here for any outward dents of course you could choose to fully ply line this if you wanted to to give your wheel arches uh, protection or alternatively depending on what you're going to use it for if you're going to maybe convert this into a camper van or put seats in the back of here a lot of people carpet these areas to give it a more car like feel and you've also got this nice hard wearing plastic floor here in the back and of course this has been you know this has been used as a van so you're going to get a couple of you know marks on the paintwork and things like that on these sorts of areas all uh, very normal to see and you've also got the factory fitted bulkhead just there as well. They are bolted in around the outside so you can remove these whole bulkheads if you want to as I say just by removing the bolts around the outside again if you were going to put seats in the back of here then that is something you'd want to do and you've also just got down there you've got the load through hatch and I'll talk you about uh, talk you through that when we uh, go around to the side loading door. Got a couple of uh, load lights in the back of here and plenty of tie down points in the back of the van as well to tie down any cargo including uh, over there at the bottom of the bulkhead. So if we shut the doors, let's say we'll continue then to go around to the passenger side. Have a look at the condition there. And again, just a very, very tiny little pin dent there. If I'm, as I, this, that is being very critical, certainly for a van of this mileage. Looking down the passenger side here, looking in all the reflections, that looks very, very straight and clean. Um, rear bumper corner here is all in good order as well. You get 16 inch alloy wheels as standard on a limited. There are a couple of little uh, scuff marks just there on the edge of the wheel. And again, looking at the paintwork down the side here, that is looking very, very nice indeed. Very straight and clean. The other thing you get on a limited, you get these moldings here, color coded. As I mentioned, the door handles all color coded as well. Really adds to the overall look of the vehicle. Opening the side loading door this gives you a chance then to look at the bulkhead and as I mentioned you've got that uh, load through hatch there. That clips onto the bulkhead via a magnet and then that allows you then to load through underneath the passenger seats. Uh, as I say of course you are going to expect a few marks and things like that on the bulkhead. You can spray these if you so wanted to, it's not the end of the world um, but as I say this has been used as a works van, it's not been used to go down to the shops on a Sunday, which of course vans are not meant to do. If we open up the passenger door, we can have a look at the condition in here. It gives you a good look at the door card there. That's all in very good order. The floor is all in good order as well. The seats, no cigarette burns, rips, tears, anything like that. That's all very, very nice. One other thing I wanted to show you as well on this van is the service history because we have got a fantastic service history with this particular van. As you can see here, 
these uh, this garage here as so it's got a Ford sample if you read there it's a specialist in Ford so Ford specialist from new um, and as I say that's uh, 2017 2018 2000 late 2018 62,000 miles and then late 2019 at 82,000 miles so a lovely service history there all with that same garage as you can see here you can turn off the passenger airbag if you so want to and I'll talk you through a little bit about the spec that you get in the cab when we go around to the driver's side you can um, lift up these seats here in the middle so if I pull on the front of the seat there and flip that forward you can see that you can then gain access then under the seat uh, especially if you're going to be loading through there from the back you can do exactly the same with the middle seat as well continuing to go around to the front of the van as I mentioned earlier you get color-coded uh, mirrors and you also get a color-coded front bumper front fog lights and as I also mentioned earlier you get front parking sensors as well in terms of condition here at the front of the van of course you're gonna get the odd tiny little stone chip here or there but overall that is looking very nice and clean and I say hopefully the camera is conveying that accurately for you better headlights on a limited than you get on a standard transit custom so that's always a big bonus these vans just come as such a good package I think the limiteds considering the spec that you get it's everything that you really kind of look for on a van as we open up the driver's door we've got electric windows we have electric folding mirrors and that's how you operate that you just push it down into that position you have auto activated lights and wipers you can see that we've got two full remote keys for the vehicle looking at the uh, driver's seat plenty of adjustability here so you've got height adjustability this controls the height of the front of the seat they call that the thigh adjustment of the seat and then you've got a backrest as well a backrest adjustment there um, and then you've got a driver's armrest which is on a ratchet so you can set that to your desired height multi-functioning steering wheel on the right hand side here at the lower part you've got the radio controls here so the volume you can also answer and hang up the phone and then on the left hand side you've got the cruise control settings there as well these two controls up here these control the onboard computer so the one on the right controls the computer which is on the dashboard and if you look there you can see the mileage 98,656 miles certainly does not look like a van that has done that mileage and you can see here that the van is idling correctly there's no warning lights or anything like that on the dashboard and then the other control controls the screen which is up there in the middle six-speed manual gearbox to go along with that 125 brake horsepower engine and you've got air conditioning which is crucial on a day like today as we're starting to see some brighter days here in Wales very gladly received heated windscreen that's the actual elements in the screen not just the blowers which is very very handy in the frost you've got that little thing there which is uh, you know a bit of storage that's where your handle is and inside there that unveils then a 12 volt socket a USB port and an AUX port as well if you look at the radio you can see that you can connect your phone to this via Bluetooth if you so want to when you put the van into reverse you'll actually get a parking sensor display up there as well on the screen you've got a nice fold down work tray just there as well with some extra cup holders and somewhere to store your paperwork so lots and lots of spec inside here and how could I forget you also get heated seats so when it's that red is showing there that is when your heated seats are activated so you've got a driver's heated seat and a far side heated seat as well so lots and lots of spec to talk about on these transit custom limiteds and as I say this particular example fantastic service history as well and of course like all of our vehicles it will be going through our workshop before it leaves us and it will be coming with our own warranty as well if you'd like to inquire please feel free to give us a call on either of the numbers listed there at the bottom of the sign we can arrange finance at very competitive rates starting as low as 7.9 percent apr and we can also take cars or vans in part exchange as well thank you very much for watching